This is the camper where police say little Charlotte Senna was held prisoner for two days. As new details emerged about Charlotte's dramatic rescue, we're learning more about the man accused of kidnapping her. 46-year-old Craig Nelson Ross Jr. was arraigned overnight and is being held without bail. Nine-year-old Charlotte is described as in good health despite her ordeal. <laughs> Family members and friends gathered outside Charlotte's home last night and cheered. To get her back alive, especially after these 48 hours, it's truly amazing and uh, what a miracle it is. Here's the timeline. 420 AM Monday, police say Ross pulls up to the Senna family home in upstate New York and left a ransom note in the mailbox. 2.30 PM, a fingerprint on the ransom note is matched to Ross from a DWI conviction in 1999. His criminal background was a stroke of luck because when they got that ransom note and they ran that print and they had to do it twice because the first one didn't catch. 6.30 p.m. Monday, state police and FBI SWAT teams raid the camper behind Ross's mother's home and find Charlotte in a cabinet. You hear these loud booms and then over in those tree area, the whole thing was just filled with smoke. Take a look. This is the scene behind me. You can see Halloween decorations right over here and then there's the trailer we've seen investigators coming in and out throughout the day. Police say Ross put up quite a fight, but he was quickly overpowered and little Charlotte was imprisoned in a tiny cabinet. It must have been a terrifying ordeal for her. Ross was arraigned at 3.10 a.m., charged with first-degree kidnapping. That's his signature on court documents obtained by Inside Edition. As recently as last year, Ross was living in a house just a half a mile from Charlotte's home. The suspect's camper is 20 miles from Lake Moreau State Park, where Charlotte was abducted Saturday night. A neighbor says she confronted Ross just weeks ago when she saw him interacting with her grandson. He backed up, got on his bike and took off. But I, I was very freaked out by that. New York Governor Kathy Hochul has taken a personal interest in the case and announced the successful rescue. Often these stories don't end up like this, 